Hi, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. We do everything on um, data analytics, blog posts, live streams, and video tutorials. So if you've been to our channel before, uh, please hit the like subscribe button. So today we're going to talk about in indexer, single position indexer is out of bounds. So let's hop over to the code, see what it's all about, and see how you can fix this very quickly. Right, uh, so today we're trying to talk about uh, indexer, single positional indexer is out of bounds. So what's this all about? Uh, so before we jump into the code, let's just talk a little bit about indexes because it's probably very clearly uh, clear up the problem at hand and why you receive this problem in your logic. So um, if we hop over here, first of all, this code that we're gonna run in a second is gonna bring in um, this data here, okay? Now, on the face of it, everything in the data looks okay, and it is, but what you gotta remember, when a file is being loaded in or any data is being loaded in, and it doesn't have to necessarily be an Excel file, CSV file, or anything like that, but when Python is loading it in and say you're loading into a data frame or a list or anything, it actually assigns indexes. So in this instance here, we won't, uh, we'll delete this column in a second, but the actual index value for this is going to be this. So because this, this row is going to be one, two, three, four, okay? So essentially, there is a minimum and a maximum index value that is going to be basically assigned within the set of records. So if you basically go and try and look for something in that those records that are basically not there based on the index, it will show an error, similar to, or what, to exactly what we're uh, looking at today. So the maximum value is four, okay? So that's important to remember because when we're going to show you now in a second why this problem occurs and how you fix it, uh, this will become very clear. Okay, so we're just going to delete these rows here or these, this, this column here. And I'll just do say this. Okay, I'll just close this. Okay. So we're back here in the code. Here's the code. Single positional index error, as I said, is out of bounds. So how does this occur? So let's actually look at the code for a second. Okay. So we're basically uh, doing this here. Um, basically, first thing I'm gonna start off is gonna, as usual, uh, in a lot of my videos, gonna import pandas, um, it's gonna create a data frame. Okay, and then we're gonna read the uh, CSV. Okay, so essentially reading this file here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is actually we're separated, basically the separator is a comma. Okay, then we're gonna assign it to a data frame. And we're gonna say name and age. Um, and then we're going to basically say uh, load in the data frame, assign it to a, vari a variable A and bring in all the values. Okay. Now, remember earlier on I said that I had showed you on the Excel spreadsheet that there was a value of zero to four. So that is the range. So if you put in a value outside that range, here we put in five, um, this throws up the error. And because the, the maximum is four, so if we go like this, change this to four. Okay, this processes now with no errors and processes, processes out the actual data frame and its values. So if we went to, just to show you, I know we did five, but let's just say 10. It's gonna give you the same error. Okay. All right, single position error again is out of bounds. So um, just to recap and to remember that when you are bringing in values and you're looking to loop through them and you're looking to use the index values that you need to be understand how many values are in the actual in the actual data frame or the file you're bringing in. Now there is maybe an easy way to, 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 to fix this um, if you don't know is you could do a quick count first of all and then assign that count to a variable and then do a loop and always be referenced back to that count to make sure you're within that, if you're using the index values, you're within that um, set of values so that you never get the zero. So I hope you like this very quick tour today. I hope you liked it. Um, we do weekly blog posts set at the start, video tutorials, um, live streams, on anything every day analytics. We're a growing channel. We have uh, in excess of 650 subscribers now. So I'd like to grow the channel a bit more, get more people involved, get feedback. And if there's any videos you'd like, uh, certainly um, drop us a line, a comment, leave a comment on this video and I'd be happy to look at it. I do have one coming out now, probably after this video on a comment that was left. So uh, thanks for coming on today. I hope you're all keeping well and look after yourself. Take care, goodbye.